Yeah, Trevin, I think I had you 29 of 34 from the floor for the whole trip. And I mean, just kind of what keyed your efficiency and um, what, what really got you going each game? Uh, I was just trying to do the little things, you know, that uh, Coach Must talks about, um, you know, rim running, uh, you know, the first two games, I didn't do a good job of rebounding. I probably had like, probably got like three or four rebounds uh, over the first two games. So a big emphasis for me the last two games was just rebounding. And uh, I think that led to a lot of my uh, success. You were a big part of the, the group in the first quarter. I think gave up one field goal. I don't think they, they made a layup with like 10 seconds left in the quarter. What was, um, I guess, what was the key to kind of punching them in the in the face early? Uh, going into it, um, Coach Mus already told us that they had some guys that could really play. Uh, they were missing one of their guards, which, you know, was probably a big deal for them. But the big emphasis coming in was um, shutting them down defensively and rebounding. So we went out and did that. I'm just I'm just curious what the preparation was like and maybe how it was maybe amped up for this game again versus maybe the first three exhibitions. Uh, are you talking about personally or as a team? As a team. Uh, I felt like the first game we know we we didn't really know what to expect. Uh, that was our first time you know playing together with um playing against another team. So uh, as the game went, I mean as the games went. We kind of we kind of found each other's roles, and then as the fourth game, I feel like uh, everyone played really well. Uh, obviously, Nick didn't get to play after that second half or after that first half, so that, um, we just all we just all had to step it up. Uh, Curtis, TB, where where do you guys feel like you maybe improved the most over the course of these four games, and and what are some of the main things you're going to take back home with you from this experience? Uh, we just, I feel like everybody found their role. Uh, the first game, you know, it was kind of, you can't really tell because, we're, you know, we're not playing against great competition. But this last game and uh, maybe the game before, um, everybody went out and did what they had to do. Obviously, turnovers is a big thing for us. So that would be a big point of emphasis going forward. And then obviously you guys are, are competitors. You like the competition, the games, and, and now you go back home and you go back to two months of practice. How do you kind of readjust the mindset from game mode back to practice mode and improving for the season? Uh, you kind of got to forget about this. I mean, obviously coach is going to say, you know, this is evidence and, you know, he's going to, he's going to, we're going to watch film and stuff, but you kind of got to, you know, we're, we're about to go do too much of hard training camp before the season. So I just, Everybody will be mentally prepared, though. Andrew. Coach Muss was telling us that that first quarter was maybe one of the better stretches of defense he's seen in a while. What was the key to y'all shutting him down like you did? Uh, a big emphasis was, for us was hand and eye. Um, during the four, first three games, we didn't do a good job of hand and eye, and we just tried to incorporate that every time somebody caught the ball, hand and eye, everybody was playing defense intensively. Um, I don't know, the first quarter, that was almost picture-perfect defense all around. And I, I think what one of the highlights of today's game was your, your put-back dunk. Could you kind of walk us through that play, what you saw on it, and, and how would you grade it yourself? Uh, I just I honestly don't know. that all. It all happened so quick. I just seen the ball and just tried to – I didn't even try to dunk it. I wasn't even thinking about dunking. I was just trying to rebound it because I grabbed rebounds with one hand a lot, so I just grabbed the rebound, and the rim was right there. And Bob. Um, you know, it, it, I know you missed a couple threes, but I guess how big did the basket look? Because, yeah, dunks are dunks, but you were finishing on shots. It's, you know, sometimes guys were missing. I mean, you, you hit, I think, 13 out of 15 and 24 out, or 29 out of 34. I mean, just how big did the basket look to you this whole whole week or week and a half or whatever it was? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's the European rims or if I, I, I put in a lot of work this summer. Um, Shooting a lot of shots. I didn't even shoot a lot of shots. So I don't know. I just getting touches around the rim. Um, being efficient around the rim was just a big thing for me. And obviously, you know, you wouldn't be at Arkansas if they didn't think you could play. And I think people saw you have some good games, especially late from Mizzou last season. But um, how how big a boost is this for you to have such a good trip like this? I mean, you you know, you, you shoot well, you, you rebound well, the, the latter part. I mean, just how satisfying was this trip for you personally? 
Uh, I'll say over the first two games, you know, I wasn't satisfied with my play. I feel like I could have played way better rebounding wise. Um, and just on the perimeter in general, maybe defense too. <clears throat> the second two games or the, the, the second set of games in Italy, uh, I feel like I, I played a way better defensively and rebounding. Um, like I said, I just, that's just how I play. I'm just motored to play like that. I'm motored to play, run the rim and do the little things. So. And, and then the trip, um, how fun was the trip? We saw you guys doing a lot of stuff on the beach. Eric talked about how some teams, apparently he was told by the tour folks, they sort of make the guys stay in the hotel on game days. Eric seemed to let you guys have a pretty free hand, trusted you not, not to mess, mess around. Just how good was that aspect of the trip? Um, it was great. At my last university, you know, we didn't get freedom like this. So this is definitely something new, especially overseas. Um, being able to go, you know, to the beach and then play the same day, that just doesn't happen. So it was just a great experience all around. I'm guessing maybe Conzo Martin never dressed up like a gladiator either. Uh, correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong, but what, nah, he, he wasn't. He wasn't into none of that. Yeah, uh, Eric's kind of known for his pregame talks. They put him on social media a lot. But what did you think? It looked like you guys were in a little locker room or a room or something. Eric walks in wearing the gladiator, you know, Halloween costume or whatever the hell that was. What, what, uh, what kind of impression did that make on you? Well, during the whole summer. Um, he's always coming in with something new. So during Shark Week, he comes in fully dressed in a shark. So we're just like, everybody's kind of used to it by now. And then the gladiator thing is just like, you know what I'm saying? That's just that's just how Coach Must is. So that's more for you. You know, the other, you know, yeah, you, you played real well game two scoring, but Eric, you know, point out you only had one board, then you had seven. And he said, yeah, he was, uh, you know, TV was coming over and asking Ruta how many rebounds did he have. And Eric, I think, was joking, said they might put the rebounds up like during the season. They might put your rebound totals up on, on the big board at Walton Arena. I don't know if you heard that or not, but just he sounded like he was having some fun with it. Just what what'd you think about that? Um, obviously knew going into it, uh, I had to rebound more, so be just me going over and asking Ruta and them how many rebounds I had, that's just a way of me like kind of, you know, oh, I got to go get more rebounds. So them just keep, put, they just keep pushing me. Uh, they do a great job of pushing me. And I went out and, and answered what they wanted me to do. You, you're looking for, I know it's a long flight. You're looking forward to going home? Uh, Yeah, I got a little homesick. Maybe uh, 10 days is a long time overseas. So, you know, you start to miss American food, uh, family. So definitely ready to get back home. Okay, well, th thanks a lot. Thanks.